Hey YouTube, SR Arcade again, and we're back with another video to update the, gosh, I don't want to call it, Super Gun, uh, Super Gun console of all sorts. <laughs> I got it uh, to a state where it's pretty playable. So it, uh, if I haven't seen this before, I put this in a couple other videos, I've been kind of working on it, but this is it down here. It's an old... Uh, basically business music distribution system from promo only and this is a uh, it's got an LCD readout where I will be using that a little bit later uh, I have this LED this goes to the power supply it indicates the voltage it's green because it's roughly about 5.19 volts so I hope this is my little tweaking pot right here to adjust that it'll turn you know red or yellow depending on the voltage uh, I have a video switch here this was to use an amplified and unamplified video it's not enabled anymore because I had some issues with it. I have a controller port. This is a Neo Geo controller port. I've kind of hacked up. I got a temporary plate in here. I'll be doing this in a uh, more of a, a metal when it's been finalized in design, but it's got a temporary plate in there. And I got a Gemma extension harness I kind of built. It took forever. Got that going into the Sega right now. So the Sega's got no wires, no power supply, no controllers. And I'm running a little bit of uh, Ghouls and Ghosts, which is an absolutely fantastic port of the arcade game. If you can't find the arcade board, I have no problem with playing the Sega Genesis version. I think it's one of the best ports of it ever. So that's the uh, Sega Genesis, as I like to call it. So uh, that's up and running at the moment. But underneath this, we have an Extron PA250 peaking amplifier. That will help correct some of the uh, drop in signal from some of these weaker sources. You can see how bright and beautiful the colors are on the uh, XM29. That's because the, uh, the peaking amplifier is picking that up. And over here on the back, you can see I got the uh, RGB BNC cables. And uh, I'm using just some uh, standard uh, AV cables to connect the RGB to the Xtron for now. I want to get some better cables in the future, but this just kind of gets everything up and running. So I thought I'd do a quick test to kind of show off how it all works. Here is the controller. It's a Neo Geo X controller. All I did was simply uh, open this up and tack solder in a new wire. So it's got a new wire on it. Picked a pretty nice flexible uh, wire. Has the just enough conductor for my 15 pin control pin panel so um, you know has all actually has all four buttons and this pin out actually standardized I had three extra unused connections which will be used for like the kick harnesses and stuff so I don't have to just use this controller if I want to build a custom controller for this platform you know like a, a six button stick kind of like that all I have to do is solder on a connector or if I wanted to build a trackball or something like that there's a five volt line in there as part of the Neo Geo standard pin out so I'll have five volts to build any kind of uh, you know any kind of custom uh, control panel I want so there's a lot of options with this thing that's what I kind of like about it because I can't always hack up some of my arcade games now they don't have so many of them anymore in the garage so now I can build some custom controllers but uh, I'll show you how this works let me go ahead and cut this off and we'll uh, let's plug into another system all right I'm done playing Sega Genesis let's let's play uh, an arcade board so I got an arcade board over here and uh, I just picked something out of the closet. I'm trying to put this harness on. Okay, there we go. And now I'll turn this back on. And now I'm playing an arcade game. And it all uses the same controller. Makes it nice and easy. And uh, for sound, we'll see how loud this is. I got the demo sound off. But the sound basically goes uh, speaker out, because, you know, Jamba boards are speaker out for the most part. Speaker in. Inside is a line level converter. Converts it to line out, out the back. And just running into a little powered uh, speaker over here. It doesn't have a volume control. But this would, you know, I'll, I'll use this on a traditional stereo. So I'll coin up. Push the select button. Cowabunga! Hey, there's a Leo. I only got the four player ROM on there. I gotta put the two player one on so I can play it on this. There Fire! It is. Hang on, April.
the other thing about the XM29 is you can see the picture's been all, it's all off center and you gotta go and uh, adjust it, you know. Yeah, pretty sweet. You can play a little uh, Ninja Turtles with uh, my Neo Geo controller. I gotta build another one of these so I can get some two player. All right, cool, so arcade games are pretty fun to play on this. I didn't really specifically make it for arcade games. I mainly made it for consoles and uh, Neo Geo, but uh, it does arcade games too, so that's pretty much like a bonus feature. And then if I want to play, uh, let's see, another title. Let's plug in another one here. Now i got to change my sound temporarily. This will be a little bit better in the future. Okay, go ahead and do that. Plug in my uh, my next game here. We find the uh, find the harness. Oh, this is a mess. The next system to get fully modded is going to be this uh, Sega Saturn. I'm actually going to have to hold this here for a second. Whoa! It's going from my neck. Okay, there we go. Nope, you went wrong. <laughs> I don't think I got it. Well, I did, but I must have done something funny. Oh, I didn't turn this on. I'm like, why isn't the screen coming on? There we go. So now I got Sega Saturn playing. Put a little Darius Gaiden. Haha. <laughs> Fantastic game. If you ever played this one, one hell of a good shooter. I hope I this on PlayStation. Using the same controller, the Neo Geo controller. Playing little Darius. So that works really great. Hard to play with one hand. But I've, I've made a little liking to this controller. It's, uh, it's not as good as the original Neo Geo controller. I did a little review, but... Uh, Definitely, uh, definitely ample for the purpose here. Maybe I'll splurge on a real controller for my other one. All right, so the Saturn works really cool. Go ahead and cut this off. Let's uh, let's plug in the next one. Uh, let's see here. I got uh, here's a couple. I got to switch my audio cables real quick. Here's a Dreamcast controller. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn off my unit. I'm going to unplug the uh, harness here. I'm going to leave this unplugged. I got a VGA cable now on the back here. It's hard to see. I got a D sub 15 port. We're doing VGA in. And I'll cut on the uh, good old... Whoa! There's volume! I gotta find the volume. Yeah, I'm using a headphone volume there, that's why. Oh yeah, now I'll turn the unit on. And this is running 640 by 480 VGA. That's looking pretty nice. Yeah. That's looking real nice. That's better. I've been playing some Fantasy Star Online. I never really uh, got to play this game in its heyday, so I've been playing it recently and really enjoying it. But man, look at the graphics. This is so much better than the flat panel I was playing it on earlier. I was using a computer monitor. But this VGA looks so much better on the CRT. I just hooked this up for the first time uh, yesterday, and I'm really impressed. This monitor is, has been worth every penny so far. Yeah, the contrast, the color, and then the peaking amplifier just tops it off. It just looks phenomenal. So yeah, 
Well, there's four systems right there. I hooked up all four. They all run through the uh, the same uh, JAMA harness. Or if I don't want to use the Neo Geo control pad, like for example, this game uses all the buttons, so uh, you know I'm gonna play this with the uh, Dreamcast pad. But I could alternatively uh, hook up. You can see here, there's two pads. All I gotta do is plug those in, and I can plug into my JAMA harness, and I can be playing with the Neo Geo stick. So. That's the idea behind this project, just JAMA standard on every console and arcade board. And, uh, you know, now that it's kind of up and working, I'm going to clean it up. Because you can see I got a mess of stuff. The Genesis is finished. You can see, you know, no wires, nothing visible. It's just the unit and a JAMA, you know, plug on the end. But these other ones need to have that all happen. So, arcade, Saturn, Sega Genesis, Sega Saturn. I still got an NES, I don't have a PPU for RGB, so I'm figuring out what I'm going to do with that. And I got an SNES I still got to do. And, uh, well, yeah, that's about, about all the uh, console stuff. But, yeah, that's it for today. Just wanted to kind of show off the project and kind of what it does. If you got any questions or whatever, I'll be happy to answer them. And uh, that's it. So, see you later. Have a good day.